Sorry Pistons fans, so in today's video, I'm finally, finally doing a video on James Booknight. I've been wanting to do this video for a very, very long time because I'm a big fan of James' game. And let's talk about him, man. I really, really enjoyed watching the film on this dude. And I can't wait to share with you guys all the things that I like and dislike about him. So let's get into this, man. So first, I'm gonna give you like his height, weight, school, and that type of stuff. Then I'm gonna hit you with the stats. Then I'm gonna hit you with the things I like and I dislike. And then we're gonna end the video and wrap it up. So let's get into this, man. So James is 20 years old, six feet five, shooting guard out of UConn. While he was in college, he averaged 18 points, five rebounds, and he shot 30% from the three-point line. So let's talk about the things that I like about James, man. He is a smooth, and I mean a smooth scorer. I really, really like the way he moves with the ball and just maneuvers his way around the court. I really, really like it, and I think his game is pretty smooth. The next positive thing that I'm gonna say about him is that he is a bona fide scorer. I just did a video on Johnny Juzang and and now talking about someone like James, he's another one of those types. Someone who's just a flat out scorer. You know, you got your Kay Cunninghams, you have your Jalen Greens, but I think there's an argument to be made that the James should be included in the top five in terms of scoring players coming out of the draft. He is one of the best scorers in this class. The next positive thing that I'm gonna say about him is that his aggression. He is really, really aggressive. I don't think he'll be scared to shoot shots in the NBA. Even if he's missing his shots, he's still gonna put them up. He is a very, very confident person, so so his aggression, his willingness to shoot shots, his willingness to attack the hole, I really, really like that. And I would say that he's a really aggressive player. And the last thing that I'm gonna mention is straight up his athleticism. You guys seen the dunks that I showed on the screen. He is someone who could dunk the basketball. He's someone who can move up and down the floor. He's pretty fast, pretty quick. Overall, he's a very, very good athlete. And those are all the positive things that I'll say about James um, as a player. Someone who could be a straight up scorer for the Pistons. And that will probably be coming off the bench for us as a trade up option. I'll be cool with that. Now the thing about this is, James is projected pretty, pretty high. Anywhere from that five to seven range, I've seen James on most of my drafts. So to trade up for someone like James, we're gonna have to spend a lot of spend a lot of our assets on him. I'm talking about we're probably, probably gonna have to give up someone like Sekou, maybe some first round picks, maybe second round picks. Heck, they may even try to ask for someone like Killian Hayes. The price for moving up, in, for moving up in this draft I think it's gonna be pretty high because overall, this is a really solid draft class. You got your Jonathan the Kamingas out there, your Davion Mitchells, your Scotty Barnes, you got James McKnight. There are so many guys in this draft who can be really, really good. And I think the price for moving up in this draft, especially somewhere between the five to seven range, the price is gonna be really, really high. So in terms of trading up, I would like to get someone like him, but the price for him is gonna be pretty high. Now let's talk about the negatives for someone like James. So the first thing I'm gonna say, and most people will agree with me, he is a pretty streaky guy. As I mentioned, he's a confident shooter. And with that confidence comes the tendency to shoot shots that he doesn't need to be taking. He gets very, very trigger happy sometimes. So someone like him, you know, 30% from the three point line, he needs to get that up. And he has the confidence, so I do believe in him. But overall, I'm hoping that he does work on his shot because that's something that consistency, he needs to get it. That three point consistency is not there right now. The next thing that I'm gonna say is defensive IQ because sometimes, you know, when I was watching this film, um, some plays, it just flat out, it just flat out looked like he didn't know what he was really doing sometimes on defense. And then on offense, there would be some times where he would turn the ball over. Sometimes he would stumble on the floor and like run with his head down. There was just some plays where it looked like he lacked IQ. So that's something that he needs to work on as well. Um, he did have an injury. He did have an injury in college, so you may want to include that as a negative. I'm not really concerned about that because it's not something that's, you know, career threatening, but he did have an injury, so I wanted to mention that. And lastly, defense. Now, this one I, I could have mentioned in the positives because I do believe that he has defensive potential with that athleticism being six feet five, someone who can move on each side of the floor. He's not there right now on defense, but I do see the potential for him to be great there. So overall, man, James Booknight, really, really talented player overall on offense. He is a bona fide scorer. I like his age. I like his height. I like his, I like his skills, his game overall. There are a few negatives here and there, but overall, James Booknight, really, really solid prospect. Only thing is, you know, I would love to get him, but the price for getting someone like James is going to be pretty high, man. Will the Pistons be willing to do that? I don't know. Troy Weaver is really, 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 really aggressive, so he may end up moving in the top five and picking someone like James or Scotty Barnes. Who knows? But the price is going to be certainly high to move up this high in the draft. So Pistons fans, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below about us possibly trading up for someone like James Booknight. So like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 1K, and I'm out.